New Browns tight end Demetrius Harris joining the program now. Demetrius, welcome to town, man. Good, good trip in. Everything's a win. Yes, yes. Thanks for having me in, man. I'm just thankful to be in this opportunity and and just go on this journey with everybody and just just happy. How did this How did this come about? And and it's interesting because this team has changed so much <laughs> in like 48 hours. What point in, did were were you on board? And then what followed? And what has that been like? Uh, I mean, I, I was really on board like the first free agency, but I just didn't didn't sign right away. But I was – Dorsey is my guy, man. I love Dorsey to death, man. And he, he the one discovered me when I was playing basketball. So, I mean, he believes in me more than anybody. So, I mean, the loyalty with him and me is, is unbelievable. So, I mean, it's ha I'm glad to reunite with Dorsey and especially this program and what, what he's doing to this organization and, and bringing all these pieces in and, and just, like you said, in 48 hours, bam. It's just like that. It's – Super Bowl contender, so I mean, it, I'm just happy to be a part of it. Did you know when you were in First Energy Stadium this year as a member of the Chiefs that you might be a Brown next year? No, no, not at all, man. I was just out there playing for the Chiefs, <laughs> and, and I was a Chiefs, but not at all. But it's just like it changed like that, and it, it happened so fast. But it don't feel like that. But it, it happened fast, and I'm just, I'm just excited and ready. And thankful for this opportunity to get out here and be a Brown. So you were a college hoops player, and he said Dorsey discovered you. Take us back then. How did that come about? Man, it's the the journey was a blessing, man. I was playing for Milwaukee, and um, I never knew he he used to always come to our games. I never knew he was watching. I never he never said nothing to me. I never knew him, and it was just like one day I was on the way back from from spring break, and it was like the end of I think it was like March March 31st I was coming back spring break and I was um on a Greyhound on the way back from Little Rock so I was on a like a 13 15 hour ride so I get a call from a chief scout and they was just saying uh we like you we want you to um have a pro date in in like three days so I was like huh <laughs> like a pro date so I'm like okay and then he was like I'm gonna call you back for further information so I was thinking, I called my mama on the bus, like, man, it's April. I got friends, so I'm thinking it's April Fool's. So I'm like, man, <laughs> if he this called back, crazy. he called back, That's I know crazy. it's real. So he called back, and I'm like, man, this is real. And the, and the crazy part, I was about to sign with a basketball agent the next day. So it was like, nope, I, I love football, so, you know, I'm going to just go with my dream. So, you know, so I was like, man, I put <laughs> basketball on hold because – I had I had tryouts for the the uh the Bucks the Bulls the T Wolves but I'm like uh, I mean I don't like basketball I mean I like basketball but I didn't love it like that so I mean once I got the opportunity I just dropped dropped the ball. <laughs> I, I, we gotta awesome. have we gotta have some I, just to wrap my head around this. <laughs> so you're playing college basketball in Milwaukee. Yes. You you have no idea who John Dorsey is or that he's at your games no, or anything. Not you're at on all. a Greyhound. Greyhound and all bus. of a sudden, somebody with the Kansas City Chiefs calls you and says, "We'd like you to try do a pro date." And <laughs> That's like a Disney movie, man. Like <laughs> and, and that doesn't. He happen. hadn't played football since was, high school, yeah, right? I haven't played football since two thousand nine. At this point, <laughs> the senior <laughs> year, man. So it was just like this is the craziest yeah, it story. Was, that's why I said it was a long journey, and I mean, it was it happened like that, and I did the pro. I, I had two days to prepare. I found the spot to work out in Milwaukee. Two days, I never ran a forty. Never like. What about know, like catching and stuff? Like, never, it, yeah, we it, we I mean, had you throw it around, pro, but yeah, no, I never like. What position college, did he play in high school? I play receiver and safety. Okay, yeah. all right, so he had some natural. Yeah, so yeah, so he remembered from high school, like oh nine, and he 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 said he wrote the my doors, name down. Yeah, doors. yeah, he's a genius it's now. He's a, he's a whiz. <laughs> like he's the man, but. <laughs> And the crazy part, I had the pro day, and I did the pro day on Friday, and it was just the Chiefs. And so I impressed them. Like, I ran a – like, my 40 time after two days, I ran like a 4-5, four, 4-5-3. Five, four, five, and then my second one, I ran like a 4-4-9. Four, four, and then the following week, it was two teams. It was the Raiders and the Eagles, and I and I did impress them too. And then after that, man, it was like 17 teams the, the following week. And then it was just like, man, my <laughs> life's going to change, like, right now, like – and I'm and I'm some of these workouts I'm doing in the the basketball gym like at our gym like the vert like you know how you touch the vert yeah yeah I was putting tape on my hands and going up and trying to slap the back, back the glass. over the glass yeah man it was <laughs> it, yeah it was it was a 
Like, it was snowing one day at Pro Day when it was like 18 teams. It was snowing that day, and we did it in the gym. So I'm working out in the gym, like basketball shoes, gloves, like just – Running routes in the basketball gym. So like, this is unbelievable. It's a yeah, so story. It's spe- a movie. Speaking of basketball, you're 6'7". Obviously, we noticed that right when you walked in. What was your game like? Uh, My game, I was more of a rebounder. I was locked down. I was locked okay. down. I love, well, like. Scotty Pippen. Yeah. Kawhi, Kawhi, Kawhi Leonard. Draymond, Scotty. Yeah. Scotty from the crew from Arkansas. Yeah. yeah Scotty, right. yeah. There you go. So, yeah, I was, I was like a hard worker, man. I just. Didn't let nobody try to – I didn't want to lose. I didn't want nobody to out, you know, work me from the other team. So, I mean, we had a good amount of competition in Horizon League when my 11th grade year we had Butler. Butler was mm-hmm. in there, but they was running the conference like always. But my senior year they, they left, and I think they went to Atlantic 10 or something like that. But, I mean, they have some pretty good guys. So. Is that Gordon Hayward? And was he there? Yeah, no, nah, he wasn't there. He wasn't there yet. We, we got one one right now. I think he played he play for Valparaiso. He played for – He's from Australia. He plays ah, yeah. Uh, Ryan broke Ryan. Yep, I used to hold him all the time. Like that, <laughs> that, like that. That was the that was he won the Player of the Year in okay. in Horizon League. He was okay. the player like that year. So, I mean, I always wanted to hold the best player, and I mean, I just had the energy. I just loved the the game of basketball. Well, when we kind of when we heard you were coming to the rounds, you know, and, and checking out your tape, that kind of tenacity, you're a ferocious blocker. Mm-hmm. We saw that right away, yeah. and also you like to run around. You can catch like three yeah. touchdowns a year ago. Yeah. Has that kind of like translated that <laughs> desire to lock somebody down, that desire to win in a one on one blocking? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, most definitely. That's that's how I just play the blocking game. I'm just not gonna let you beat me. Like if you beat me, I'm just if you beat me, you beat me. But you're not gonna keep beating me. So. I just I just go by as that I have short time memory so if you beat me on one play I just make sure you don't do it again so I mean I just I just play with a grid and I, and I just just I'm just like the rock man I just trying to you know I just want to want to win I, yeah. I just like to compete man I just like to compete and have fun and that's what I I want to bring to this team compete and just it's all about having fun as you competing and winning So the first time you find out you're going to be united with John Dorsey. You're on a bu- on a Greyhound bus. How about this time around? I imagine quite a different process. Ah, uh, it, it was it was most definitely a different process because we know each other now, and I know who Dorsey is, and I know what type of type of guy he is, and and I know he believes in me. So it's like it was a no brainer. Like I'm like yeah, like Browns. Like I already had my mind made up Monday. Like Browns, but I we just didn't announce it. I already had my mind made up when the free agency hit, but. We was just, just, just waiting. So I mean, I already had my mind made up. I already knew Dorsey. I was going reunite to Dorsey. So I mean, I just love it. The guy, man, is the, the whiz. I'm telling, you, like he, he, he know he, he know his stuff. You, uh, you said you were ready to go on Monday. Since Monday, we have Odell Beckham Jr. as well. And mm-hmm. now you look at this. Off, you came off of one of the most prolific offenses of all time, mm-hmm. obviously, in Kansas City. You look at this one, we got a former team of yours in Kareem Hunt as well, Nick Chubb. Uh, this is this is pretty loaded, what you're jumping into here. Has it, has it sunk in all of the talent that's on this offensive unit now? Yeah, it's just crazy. Just, just coming from <clears throat> KC to here, it's like both got explosive, and then they just add the Odell. Then you just still got Landry, still got uh, Chubbs and – Two seven. Whenever he come back, and he called me face time, just screaming, so happy. <laughs> like, man, Kareem built a, a a big relationship, and also my fiance with his uh, uh, girlfriend. So I mean, it's it's just a blessing to be just back in this opportunity, and then reading night with him, and then I know Terrence Mitchell, I know you Money know Philip Gaines, yeah, T yeah. Mitch, yeah, that's my guy. So. I mean, it's just happy to be, you know, be a part of it. I'm just ready because I'm just excited because you can just see the pieces. And, I mean, I don't like to do too much talking, but it, it's going to be exciting this year. And then the one piece we haven't mentioned yet, last year you got to play with Patrick Mahomes in his second year and what an awesome year you guys had. Yeah. And now you're going to get to play with Baker Mayfield yes, that's in his I'm second year. What kind of – what did you think about that? I mean, that's not a bad switch for you, Mahomes and Mayfield. That's a pretty yeah, good yeah, two-year yeah, stretch. Yeah, two-year, Full yeah. Dorse. It's a full Dorse stretch. Yeah, exactly yeah, what it is. Full Dorse. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, just knowing – just watching. I don't know him personally, but – I know my mom, she's a big fan. Like, she's the biggest OU fan. She loved OU, and so she loved him. So once I told her that, she flipped out <laughs> when going to the Browns. So, I mean, I, I just – I like his grit, his confidence, 
and like he just attack. It's like he's attacked the day every day. He's attacking it, and I just like the the confidence he come in with. And when you got that, and just seeing that in Kansas City, how Mahomes is, and, and it's just. He just like him. So, I mean, it's just, he ain't like him, but he's, you know, they got similar yeah. attitudes. So, I mean, just seeing that, just not playing on his team, just seeing him just like when I watch, and he just looked like he loved the game. He got the passion for the game, and he, he worked hard. So, I mean, I'm most definitely going to try to get with him and, you know, work out, get some, you know, I get familiar with him and stuff. So, I mean, I'm, I'm just ready to go. Demetrius, awesome. thank you so much for your time. Welcome to the Cleveland Browns. Yes, yes, thanks for having me. I'm happy to be here.